Good afternoon. Uh, I am Dr. Bhairav Saxena. I am heading robotic surgery, urology, and renal transplant department in Yashoda Super Specialty Hospital, Kashambi. And today we will discuss over the lesser known facts about the robotic surgery. So there is a very common myth over the in the population that uh, whether the robot operates or the surgeon operates. So I would like to clear this myth that. Uh, I as a robotic surgeon, we only control the robot from console, and the operation is done by us only. Robotic surgery is only a modality by which uh, all the surgeries are done in a minimally invasive way, with a very precision because of the three-dimensional vision of the uh, things and better access to the lesser places or lesser capacity places like pelvic capacity, pelvic cavity, or uh, the prostate area, or the diaphragmatic area. The another common myth is whether the surgery can be done from any other country or any other place sitting outside the OT. So these all are myths. The robotic surgeon present inside the OT and is sitting over the console. If there is any emergency or any help is required over the table, he that can directly enter into the surgery any time. So he only controls the robot from the console, and the surgery is done by the surgeon only. Third common myth is that robotic surgery and laparoscopy surgery are same. No, it is wrong. In laparoscopic surgery, surgeon himself stands over the patient and does the surgery with the hands. But in the robotic surgery, he controls the robotic arms uh, with the help of console. So it is an automatic, uh, automatic kind of uh, commands which are given by the robot uh, by the surgeon to the robot so that the surgery can be performed successfully. Fourth myth is that uh, robotic surgery is used only for the complicated thing surgeries. No, it is wrong. It is also it can also be used for the uh, simple surgeries like nephrectomies, uh, the pyeloclasty, the benign non-cancerous surgeries also, so that the outcome is better, the precision is better, and blood loss is better, so the recovery is faster to the patients. Apart from the urology, many more other uh, specialties like gynecology, general surgery are uh, also using the robotic surgery uh, robot for the their surgeries uh, and the last myth which i would like to clear is that in the robot if it fails then there may be disaster so many more persons have this uh, apprehension that if, if the robot machine fails then what will happen so it is not like that uh, because we are trained surgeons we are trained robotic surgeons we are also trained in open surgery and laparoscopic surgery so uh, however, the robot never fails, but in 1% chance, 0.1%, 0.001% chance, if it has never happened any earlier and has not been reported that frequently, but if it happens that or due to any reason there are uh, there, there is failure of the robot or procedure, then we can always shift over to the laparoscopic procedure surgery or the open surgery. So those options are already open. So it's not like if robot is failed, then surgery would not happen. Uh, thank you very much.